So this is a section on the light scattering section number two. Here I'm going to focus on how we can prove that for polydispersed sample, the light scattering measurement gives uh, allows to measure the weight average molecular weight. So I'm I'm writing this divide equation that uh, we are going to use, and as I discussed for previously, uh, the Rayleigh ratio is just uh, proportional to scatter light intensity, and so this is something that uh, I can uh, relate that as a some uh, property related to light scattering. And also, when you see this equation on the left, there is a K, what we call the optical constant, which is I'm going to, re I'm going to talk about in the light, light, light scattering section 003 lecture in the following this sequence. Okay. You know, in a very simple sense, uh, there is a uh, experiment variable called the uh, refractive index change of the D and DC value when you change the polymer concentration, and this one is proportional to the square values of, of that, and so this is something that we need to find out. But let me just say for the sample sake, it is a constant, right? It's uh, something that is defined by the optical or refractive index difference between the polymers and the solvent. And it is a constant, so I don't have to worry about when, when but probably it will cancel out later on. And then what is a C? C is a gram per a milliliter polymer concentration. So that's uh, something that uh, I've already, uh, we, we talked about it, right? Gram per cubic centimeter. So what, how I can, uh, how I uh, in the understanding this one, this this equation should be understood in the limit of concentration goes to zero. So therefore, in the limit of the concentration goes to zero, this equation simplifies to Kc over R theta is one over m, and uh, we want to know how this m is going to be. Turns out to be m. W, weight average. So that's the one that I'm going to uh, figure this one out. So let's say, uh, let me rearrange this equation saying that, okay, so the you know, scatter light intensity is related to R theta, and R theta is essentially constant K, uh, concentration C times the molecular weight. And for the polydispersed sample, essentially summation of all the imers having their mass and uh, pro volume, and then their molecular weight corresponding to the imers. So, so that's the how we uh, we can define this. And the other term that you see here is uh, the C. The C is just nothing but imers of different uh, mass pro volume contribution to the total mass pro volume. So. I'm going to put that in together and then see that how what is defined as a 1 over m, which is a kc over r theta for polydisperse. And you're going to see, okay, so k, I will leave it as it is. This will be a ci and r theta, where are you now? R theta for polydispersed sample is this one, right? So I'm going to write this K C I M I for all the imers. And then uh, this term, the K's are essentially cancel away. And then I am going to rearrange it to C I M I divided by C I. So, and what's this uh, meaning of the CI here? Okay, so CI is a mass for volume, and uh, to know the mass, you know the number of moles or number itself multiplied by molecular weight. And so that's just a quantity that is going to be proportional to each other. So, so therefore, CI MI is NI MI to the square. So this term that you see here now 
is n i m i square divided by n i m i and that's the term that we know as weight average molecule okay. so here that we show the mathematical details and how uh, we can see that in the limit of concentration goes to zero this plot of Kc over Rayleigh ratio in the light scattering give a rise to weight average molecular weight when polymer samples are polydispersed.